Today we're talking about how to use a scale in the clinical laboratory and what it might be used for. Um, first of all, it may be used to make calibrators or reagents, um, turning something into dry, into liquid uh, reagent. And um, we may use it also to uh, figure out how much of a specimen somebody um, collected over a 24-hour period, just like a 24-hour urine jug. So um, what we want to do is first notice that it's plugged in. There is a little protective um, uh, plastic piece that makes it so that if this is in storage and something presses really hard on the scale, it doesn't break because this blocks it from measuring the weight. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is turn it on. This is calibrated for 200 grams. Um, anything outside of that in the upper region, um, if it's heavier than that, it has an E on the screen, which means an error, and therefore you can't measure it. Um, so notice that naturally with it turned on, it automatically tears, which means it zeroes itself. Um, a great thing to do if you get a lot of 24-hour urines is a lot of places will have an empty 24-hour urine jug. And so when they go and they turn, I'm turning this off to show you, um, when they go to turn the, um, the scale on, in, when they go to turn the scale on to automatically tear it, they just put the empty jug on there, turn it on, and this one weighs more than 200. Um, well, anyway, they would turn it on and it would automatically zero. And then that way they wouldn't have to do what we did in another video where we had to weigh the total weight of a full one and then weigh the total weight of an empty one and then subtract them. Um, so you wouldn't even have to do that if you had the kind of container that the person, um, the exact container that the person actually collected their specimen in. All right, I hope this has been helpful and um, I will see you another time. Thank you, bye.